All right, Kiki, you ready? I'm ready, babe. Episode 27. 27. Uh, it's a week past uh, the episode with Angelica. Yes. It just seems like she had a lot of uh, uptick in business from your post and that. Yes, she did. She stayed busy for quite a, I guess, probably almost a week just answering, you know, messages. And, you know, I've, had, I've even had friends, you know, reach out to her and, and jump on board. So that's exciting to hear. Yeah, so we just got back from the beach. We had our vacation with some of our friends from back home. As you can see, you can tell that we have a nice tan if you watch yep. the YouTube video. Kiki got dark. I did get dark because I love to bake in that sun, baby. So how did you feel this this summer, like this trip, being that you lost weight and like the, the transformation you have? How did you feel at the beach, like in your bikini? Oh, I felt great. I mean, it's not like I looked bad before, but just, you know, slimming down and toning, you know. Yeah. Yeah, you look hot. Yeah, thanks, babe. I, got I some, was rocking my I got some my, sexy picture my Kiki on bathing the beach. suit bottoms were a little skimpier than what I normally wear, but I think I say that like you know normally I just wear a regular bottom. This time I wore like high cheeky bottoms where you showed your cheeks just a tad bit, not much, like it, not like it's inappropriate, but I showed just a little bit of butt. But if you look at, it, I mean, like even my sister sometimes they wear those kind of bottoms. I mean, if you got it, flaunt it. Right, exactly. You look good, so thanks. Uh, because there's plenty of people where you know, hey, you got to be body body positive with whatever you got. So. Exactly, because there's a lot of people out there. They're not ashamed of what they look like, and they wear whatever. Well, you yeah, know, you got to be comfortable with your own skin. Exactly. So, yeah, I'm comfortable in my own skin right now. Well, that's good. Yep. So, uh, like I said, that was a fun one. We had a good trip. We did. The we weather were, ended up being perfect. It yeah. just rained. That we got there Saturday. Last Saturday it rained. Sunday morning till what noon. Yeah, and then it was clear skies the rest of the week. Yeah, the rest of the week was nice. So it's a good getaway. We uh, just chilled. Just if you ever been if you ever been to Navarre Beach, uh, I recommend it. It's super cool. We've been there. That's our third time, I think, mm -hmm. over the years. And uh, which is crazy though, because like just posting our pictures and stuff, and people are like, "Shh, don't be telling, don't be telling where you're at." That's like a secretive spot because remember back then, whenever we went, what in 2018, yeah, it, was, it was really quiet. It was very quiet, but so now it's be becoming like more like a popular spot because like Destin, Pensacola. All that's filling up, so people are like, I guess, hearing more about it. Like Navarre Beach is probably more like family oriented, low key, easier to get into restaurants for sure. No wait, right? Yeah. I mean, we had it. How many of us? Nine. Yeah, nine. And we didn't have a wait. We didn't. Yeah. Any night in restaurants. So. Rock my new Caitlin Clark jersey. I had to ask Dill what kind of jersey that was. I mean, you gotta know who Caitlin Clark is. She's the basketball girl, right? Yeah. Okay. You don't watch any basketball sports. You should watch. You should watch girls basketball. It's exciting now. Okay. Why is it exciting? Because this chick right here. Okay. All right. She's the best. I'm glad you supported her. I am. <laughs> this jersey is hard to get. Okay. Well, I'm rocking out my athletic Abercrombie dress that everybody's asking me if I'm playing tennis or pickleball. Yep. <laughs> Look good, especially with your dark tan. Thank you. Uh, yeah. So we wanted to come on here. We didn't have any guests lined up just because it's on the heels of a uh, come off vacation. It's just like. We have some people ready to go, but it's just it's people crazy. are traveling. Just, yeah, it's great. Yeah, people are traveling. It's in the summer. The kids are about to start school in two weeks. I can't believe it. I feel like this summer is like flown by. I know. I'm like, I'm not even prepared for like school shopping, back to school, well, supplies, all that stuff, you know? Yeah. It's just crazy how. Another crazy thing, uh, well, this come, this will be Thursday when this comes out, but the next day, Friday, Kenzie turns 14. So it's crazy. we got a daughter that's turning 14 and be a freshman in high school. And I can't believe that. Like, it's freshman. crazy to think. It's cra I don't know. It's just like it's you, you hear the cliche things when you have kids. Like, oh, well, it's gonna blink and it passes by. You're like, okay, it's whatever. But like, it it really is true. Like, it's crazy to see how fast. It almost makes me sad thinking about it because I'm sad because it's like bye bye elementary school, no more of that. So everything's moving forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm school. just saying, just overall in general, like I'm, we're completely done with elementary school. So it almost makes me sad. Like, oh my God, he's going. I'm still kind of. He's my baby boy, and I still can't believe he's going to middle school. Is he ready for middle school? Same thing for Kenzie. Is Kenzie ready for high school? You know, but they got to grow up. they got to move forward. I mean, yeah. It's just so, crazy. Yeah, so now it's about to get real for Kenzie. I mean, it's really, like, got to think about college and all those things, like, at an earlier age mm -hmm. than uh, than whenever we went to than school. Than what we did. Yeah, I mean, hell, I didn't even go to college, so uh, I wasn't even on my radar. But, you know, she wants to play college volleyball, so... 
Go for it. I told her you got to work, mm-hmm. and so and she puts in the work. Get and good, she likes to work. Got to get good grades. Being that she and she has good grades. Yep. So, uh, but yeah, I did. I did ask on Instagram earlier today about. Uh, I was trying to think some some things to talk about, so I said, "Let's give me some questions to." Ask Kiki. Let's do. I know. I guess those are always fun to do. I mean, everybody always gets a kick out of that. Let's see if we have anything good here. Okay, what you got? I I think I shared it too, so I might have a few as well. Let's see. Okay, well, this kind of goes along with what we just talked about. Okay. Can she share what she was eating during the day when on trisepatide and workout routine? So what I was eating in a day, or just when I first started? Well, actually, like, whenever, what, what were you eating like? Oh, when especially I, the first few weeks, whenever oh, the first few you're weeks. nauseous and stuff. Yeah. So one of the side effects that I did have on it, whenever I got started, was I'm not going to lie, it was nauseous. So like, I basically was just ate bland, you know. Yeah, I mean the thing that I guess it was just. And Helga talks about with that is like it kind of retrains your your mind of it does. eating, and so Kiki likes her fried food. And now she I can't eat fried food now. I can't eat fast stuff. food. Yeah. So uh, early on, I know she just like one night she had just a few French fries from like raisin Can- canes, raisin canes, and uh, she was sick. Threw I up. Was. I mean, it was one of those things. I, and I, we ended up going out of town. It was the the next day we ended up going out of town for the Justin Timberlake concert, and I had to pull through. I was miserable. Yeah, yeah. Remember so that? early, those first probably four or five weeks. No, it was less than that. It was just always at twenty four hour mark. Like after I did it, shot. That's what I'm saying, just, but those yeah. first five six weeks of like. Every time you did yeah. the shot, I mean, the next day, mm-hmm. she'd want to lay in bed. I'm like, you got to get up and go work out. Yeah, so I would get up. I mean, that's one thing for sure is that it didn't stop me from working out. Maybe whenever I first took it, yes. But then after that, you know, I was I was still hitting the gym. Yeah, I think, the, I mean, the main thing I, she ate was like the, she had to eat her protein. Yes. Uh, so she ate eggs and things like that. Staying hydrated, which I was always on top of yep. my water and drinking drink a lot hydration. of water. But, uh, but it does overall train you to eat differently like you can't i can't eat fried food i don't want to even want to think eat about eating about fast food you know thinking about or whatever you know yeah yeah so that's one of the biggest things uh you're i was hoping somebody to uh ask some funny questions i know sometimes some people here's one where do you see yourself in 10 to 20 years from now 10 to 20 years from now where the kids are going to be older they're probably gonna oh we're not in 10 years Let's see. Well, in 10 years, Bronson will be 21. Okay, 21. and kids. 20. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, in 10 years, they might be close to being out of the house. And so, like, you know, I figure we'll be traveling. And oh, 21 things. and 23, they better be out the house. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, so, I don't know. I mean, you know, you'll still be working. So, I feel like we can do more traveling, just us two are hanging out. You know, I don't know. Yeah, I never, th- I never think about stuff that uh that far in advance. So like, what do you, what are you going to be doing that for? I mean, the kids are going to be at or hell. I mean, we'll all have a good time together as us four as a family, you know. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, 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 I'm. We just hung out with some people in uh. Oh yeah. In in Florida, that were from Ohio, and they had older kids. Like you know, they're I think their youngest was like maybe thirteen, but they had a lot of like sixteen, seventeen, mm-hmm. and older twenty, twenty one year old kids. And uh, you know, it's, 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 you see how much different that is with your relationship with your kids as they get older, and they're hanging out, and they're wanting to hang out with their parents. Yeah, they're hanging out, kind of partying with their parents. Yeah. And so that was that was fun. That's what you that's what you kind of hope to do. Like when you have family trips and they get older, it's just way different. You know, they can do their own thing. Um, they're of age to drink. They may have drinks and stuff like that. It'd just be crazy to like experience that kind of. Yeah, that. That is, I can't even think about that because that's gonna be crazy. Yeah, because you know, I mean, there's some parents that now, like their kids are like 18 and 19, and like they're like if they go to dinner or somewhere, so I think if the parents with them, like they'll allow them to have like a margarita or like. I mean, I it's, it's legal to do that. I know exactly, but we never did that. Like our parents never well, did that. Well, my parents didn't drink. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, mine, mine, mom, she did, but like it wasn't. Yeah, I know, but it's just I guess every 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 generation's different i guess well there's a lot of parents that are different i mean we had i mean we had friends we had uh friends parents that let us drink early on at their house when we were little i mean not little i'm saying but in our teenage years yeah i probably didn't have i probably didn't start drinking till after high school because i was a goody goody you know i ain't gonna lie y'all i don't care i'll 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 admit it i was a i was an athlete 
See, but I had a brother seven years older than me, and See, so that was different. I think I took my first dip at like fourth grade. I smoked that, a cigarette like in like fifth gr- grade. That, that'd be like the quince right now going that. to fourth grade. I'm not even joking though. And like that's a crazy deal. I remember first time drinking alcohol was like in sixth grade, maybe. And like first time I got drunk was like in eighth grade. I mean. It's crazy. That's it's wild. It's crazy. I mean, I grew up in a small town, uh, and so, like I said, it's just things you you do. I don't know. I mean, uh, it was crazy. But it's crazy. I just did a lot of things earlier than I probably should have done or seen. But uh, well, so then nowadays you turned hear, out well. Nowadays you hear that you know kids are having parties at you know at houses, and that the parents are supplying the alcohol when they're underage, which. You know, yeah, and no, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that either. I'm like, yeah, that's a whole other subject, you know. Well, somebody asked a question in Chinese. I can't read that one. Oh my gosh, Google it. How did your How did you and your husband meet? We talked about that before. Yeah, you all just have to go. I think the first two episodes we talked. First about episode that one that one answers that. Uh, did you Did either of you go to college and graduate? I did not go to college. I was uh, I started working when I was young. I worked all the summers. Did you ever? Did you? I mean, I know college is not I, for everybody. This I wanted, day and age, I wanted you know? to. I wanted I to be a high school English teacher. So I actually thought about. I, I thought I about that, and then I realized, probably my junior year, I was like, School's or senior year, I'm like, no, dude, I don't even. I was just a class clown. I just wanted to get out of school, and so I just wanted to get out of there, and so I just started working right after I graduated. Uh, which you know, like I said, some people. It made sense for me. I wish I kind of wish I went to, went to school, but like I said, man, you can't no take backs. Well, what was crazy about us, so like I had a twin, so like growing up through school, like we did everything together. Like we did tests together, did it, you know, just everything. So we did stu- study, study subjects together, you know, quiz each other. But so funny, whenever you got to college, it was like the real, not the real world, but it was like, all right. You're majoring in this. I want to major in this. It's like you went your opposite ways. Well, Miss Goody Goody, you know, she finished in four years, and here I am changing my major to public relations, to teacher, to radiology, to, I don't know, I, I could have been a damn doctor for as much as how, how long I went. Yeah. Kiki racked up some uh, student debt that uh, I did. we paid on for years. And then for at nothing. the end, I just, I mean, I had those, that first year, I ain't going to lie, we had, we had some good time. I wasn't, I thought, I, Tried out for sorority, you know, and I was like, nah, this ain't for me. I, I'm ain't paying for my friends. Well, I take that back, guys. You're not paying for your friends. But we were still invited to all the parties, you know. Yeah, we just went to the I mean, I didn't go to college, but we went to the college party, so yeah. it didn't really it's, matter. I mean, I guess sometimes you look back and you wish you could have did it differently. But then at the end of, the, end of it all, it's not for everybody, you know. But, I, but if we look at it now, like what we've been through and stuff, not saying that college, college is not for everybody, but. Like, we want our kids to go to college. We want our kids to be successful. We don't want our kids to struggle and be like, hey, I want to do this. No. Well, think about this, you know. Yeah. Like, yeah, I mean, not that going to college guarantees you don't struggle. But, like I said, uh, hoping they have some kind of career path they want to get into. I didn't. I wasn't even pushed for that. Wasn't I think on, a lot of it on is, my, is, how, on my like, radar. is how well you work and, like, how well you're just with people, you know. Yeah. Like I said, hey, man, it's... Owner of our company, he's uh he's pretty well off, and he didn't go to college. He built some businesses, and so like I said, there's there's more to one way to to do it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, like I said, I, we we hope for our kids to be going to college and doing things like that. To not be struggling how we are, you know. Uh, are you closer? To, have we been asked that? Are you closer to Danielle or your twin? I know we answer. Do all that. the husbands get along? Yeah, we all get along. We all like to pick on Uncle Nick, though, me and Adam. Me a little tummy ache. Yeah, we pick on, uh, when, we're, de- he, when we're together, me and Adam kind of bully him. Yeah, because Uncle Tummy Ache, which is Uncle Nick, his bedtime's 9 o'clock no matter what we're doing. Yeah, he goes to bed early. And then he might not eat what we're eating. He might just pull out a bowl of raisin bran and eat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, I had a bunch of people ask me, does Crystal still think calamari is fried cheese? I know, it's so crazy. Don't get me started on that subject because... You can't really think. I mean, I know you thought that as a kid, but you uh, you know that's not really it. I know, but I just I just in my mind I just still think it just because when you're pulling apart it just reminds me of string cheese. But it's not stringy. I what? It's not stringy. It's tough. It's tough. I know. I don't know. Well, it's not like string cheese. Okay. Well, to me, it reminds me of that. We'd have to. We might have to buy an octopus and cook it and 
pull it out. No, we'll just go to a restaurant and buy. I ain't messing with no octopus. Okay. Uh, oh, we had our so our friend Jenny ask, "Who is your go-to realtor?" Oh, my go-to realtor is Jenny Vaughn Realtor, right? Is that the name? No, what's the name of it? Yeah, Jenny, Jenny Vaughn Realty. Jenny, Jenny Vaughn Realty. Yep, she sold our house. Yeah, we we bought we our bought <laughs> not sold. We bought our house. We moved here. She's a good friend of ours with all of the sisters and brother-in-laws. I think she's helped buy and sell all of our homes. Yeah, she's been amazing. So if you're looking for yeah, anywhere, a good realtor in League City, anywhere in Texas, she can help you. She can help you. She's amazing, y'all. She's a go getter. And her husband's a half ass worker, <laughs> Jeff, but he he works for he's he's the the latter half of the Vaughn team. <laughs> and I beat him in golf all the time. So That's funny. Uh yeah, that's funny. Why are you called Kiki? Why am I called Kiki? So, whenever, so I guess whenever Dean Ashley ended up getting pregnant, like we didn't want to be called like Aunt Crystal, Aunt Ashley, Aunt Danielle. We were like, we need, we need to come up with an aunt name. So I don't know how it came about. I don't know who came first and said. I don't know if Ashley said, "Well, I'll be Aunt Lily," and I don't know. I would have to ask the sisters how it came about. I don't know if short Kiki. Crystal is a short term for Kiki. I mean, is I'm sorry. Maybe cr- the short word for Kiki is Crystal. I mean, I'm vice versa. God, dog it. That, that's, <laughs> Kiki does not short for. I don't know how that came about. I, and how did Danielle come with Dee Dee, Dee Dee, Lily? I don't. You're know. the only one that doesn't make sense. Kiki. You could have been. You should have been Cece. Cece, yeah, Cece. But how does Ashley Aunt Lily? Come with Ashley, Ashley, Oatley. Ashley, Danielle, Dee Dee. I don't know. I don't know. Then when all, then yeah, it, it works. It does work because I love the name. Everybody always asks me like, "What do you, what do you prefer to be called, Crystal or Kiki?" Kiki, I like Kiki. You know, I ha- like it's so funny when some of their friends call me like Miss Crystal, and sometimes I'm just like, it's just funny to hear that Miss Crystal. And so I'm like, no, just call me Kiki. And they're like, what? I mean, you know, I like that name. That name's cool. Kiki, and you always say Kiki. Yeah, I say Kiki. You say Kiki. A lot of a lot of my friends and stuff that know me will say Kiki, which I don't mind either or. But it's just funny to hear when my kids call me like Miss Crystal. You know. Yeah. Well, I got cuspers and friends, and oh, they call you Uncle Dale. Yeah, I got like the owner of our company calls me Uncle Dale. I mean, everybody. Yeah. It's funny how that kind of. Or even just our friends' kids, they'll call you Uncle Dale. You know. Yeah. I mean, I think that's the southern thing. Like, we're all close, and we're all like aunts and uncles to our friends' kids, even though we're not related. And mm-hmm. then I, mean, I know we've had that with dark kids. They've asked, like, is that really our aunt or uncle? And I'm like, no, it's just. A- I, yeah, I know, because like Kenzie, them they still call Aunt Sam and Uncle Jacob. <laughs> I know. Yeah, so our, and, and John, John, them. Yeah, I John, mean, John, Jim, Jim. Like I said, it's just. I think it's just one of those things that people do, and it just. Dicks when we they were little and just continue. You know? Yeah, I know. Because I remember whenever Kenzie was little, she she would get confused between aunt and uncle, and she would always call instead of saying aunt Betty, she would say uncle Betty. Yeah, we're going to Uncle Betty's house. Yeah, I know. and it was so cute. We never corrected her because I was like, that is so cute. Yeah, Betty loved that too. Yeah, she did. <laughs> Who was your favorite Quint? I think we've asked that. Before. We did ask that Quint. I mean, I, you can't. I don't really don't have a favorite Quint, but if you go back. to Oh man, I got a favorite. Of I'm not going to say it. Though. Of who held who, like the connection wise, like that. But, like, if you look at all of them, who's more like me? Lulu. Lulu loves to cut up, have a good time, loves to dance, you know? Yeah. 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 Uh, I don't have a favorite. Hazel, Dazel. I love my Hazel. <laughs> I love them all equally. It's just crazy to think that they're not babies anymore, and I just keep looking down like. They're still babies to me, but they're not, you know, like, especially when you see them hanging around like their friends, you know, it's so, like cause some of those girls, even though I don't know, it makes them seem like they're maybe a little smaller because they were just preemies, you know, because some of their friends just act a little bit older. But I'm like, y'all are the same age. It's just crazy to me, you know, like they're not. Yeah, we still call them the babies, but they're not babies anymore. Uh, it's just crazy. They're uh, growing up with different personalities. What's your favorite thing about being a twin? Somebody she goes, I'm a twin, and it's a pretty awesome bond. I mean, I yes, it's a great bond, but like we have a sister that's twelve months younger than us, so we've always had a close bond. So as far as a sister, like 
having a twin, I mean, it was never just, I mean, it was just always us three growing up, us three. So we always had that special bond. So like, I didn't have that bond with Ashley. Like, oh, if she felt something, I would feel it. You know, I never had that kind of connection, you know, but right. I mean, we you didn't have the twin intuition. Yeah, exactly. I did not have that. Like some people have. But so, yeah. So overall, I mean, we're just all three close sisters, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Y'all have been close to me ever since I've known y'all. I mean, like I said, it's, uh, it's special and a lot of people are like man i wish i had that because they have a lot of siblings that are like out of town or close by when they don't you know they don't see them as much you know but we've always been close you know yep oh here's one what's your favorite sex position oh oh, dp mills 10 s you really want me to answer that (laughs) (laughs) only on the podcast (laughs) <laughs> the one we just tried. <laughs> I <have said. laughs> the one we just tried. <laughs> I don't even know what that's called. Kiki's been getting adventurous. I know. He's like, let's try this. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> that's something new. <laughs> oh my god, we can't answer that on there. Uh, G rated. The people want to know, but all right. All right. No, don't. don't. No, no, I'm not. Uh, yeah, that's hilarious. Let me see your phone. Okay. That's pretty funny. See, I wanted people to ask some... Uh, oh, here it is. Somebody says, was Lance Armstrong really the first person on the moon? I mean, that's what I thought. Hey, I was close, though. It was Armstrong. Who is it? Um, I don't know his first name. We just... Yeah. Starts with an N. Neil Armstrong. There you go. Yeah. So it's not Lance Armstrong. I was At least I got the... It's first and last name at least i got the last name right yep you know so that's i'm pretty good at that yep somebody asked how long you've been together we talked about that we've been together 22 years 22 years can't you believe it yep uh yeah lance armstrong i think it was funny i know you were so sure about that i was got armstrong right kiki do you do you think which which quint will get married first and that's crazy which Quint might get married first? Definitely not Hazel. Would, definitely not I would, Parker. I definitely say, not Riley. I would say Ava because they say Ava likes everybody. People do something for her. <laughs> she probably would get her man to make her do all her stuff <laughs> to make for her. Yeah, to make her do everything. I don't know that's crazy to think about. You know, like, I, can't think about, my, of, I think you can't think about my daughter get married. Much less I know, Quint. Like out of them, I mean, I don't see if I don't see that any of them's boy crazy yet. They're still at a young age, you know. Yeah, I don't. I don't know of anything. Uh, what country invented ice cream? What country invented ice cream? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Like, take a guess. I mean, everything's made outside the United States, so it ain't the United States. Okay. Okay. Am I close? I mean, it's not in the United States. What continent is China on? It is China. It is China? Y- you're lying. No. Dell, for real? It is. Holy hell, y'all heard that, guys. I got that right. <laughs> what was the question? Where was ice cream invented? Where was ice cream invented? In China. Are you absolutely right? That's what it said. Awesome. Go me. Hey. I'm so proud of you. That is amazing. Because, I mean, everything's not made here, so that's why I looked at it as it has to be China. You know, that was a great guess. I needed, like, a drum roll. <laughs> uh, let's see. Hold on. We need to flip it around one week and have people ask questions for you, Dill. Yeah, but I wanted some funny questions, but nobody asked any funny questions. I know everybody's just always just original, you know? Let's see. One of them said, what's your favorite TV show or movie? We answered that before, too. Favorite TV show? We don't really watch TV that much, but favorite movie, I mean, I just, I mean, I I don't know why. I'm I'm sure there's so many good movies out there, but I always just say The Notebook. I like The Notebook. Um, Yeah. It's a good movie. Oh, these are all. Let's see. How many feet 
are in 75 yards. I don't do math, so I don't know. How many feet are in a yard? How many feet are in a yard? Twelve. Is it twelve? A length of a um, ruler? Uh, Is it, are there twelve foot rulers? No. No, those long rulers. A yard. Twenty-four. Twenty-four no. inches? Oh. No, I said how many feet in a yard? How many feet in a yard? Yep. Five feet. Mm -mm. Six feet. Less. Twelve feet. Less. Four feet. Less. Two feet. Three, fool. Three feet. Three feet in a yard. What body of water is between Florida and Texas? The Gulf of Mexico. Dang. <laughs> I can't believe you got that. Well, I mean, come on. We, we're all the time doing trips and going in the middle of the Gulf. Not, you know. I mean, you live on. We live right next to the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, that's funny. Yeah, I don't know. Mm. I got tahine on my. That's enough questions. On my lips. Yeah, I wanted. I should have specified. I wanted some like stump kiki questions. Yeah, and next time you got to be Pacific or something. Specific. Specific. She still don't know that word. Yeah. <laughs> um, trying to think what else we got coming up. So we got school coming up. Uh, we, we got Mackenzie trying out for high school volleyball next week. Yeah, that's gonna be a she's stress. It, she's been putting in a lot of work this week with the volleyball camp. Yeah, it's gonna be. Uh, I think she has no problem making it, but it's always a little stressful just because mm -hmm. there's a lot of girls. It's a big school, mm -hmm. and uh, you know the only thing is that she's she's good and she's been playing a lot, but you know you should never know. Yeah. And then we then we finished up bat then we finished up basketball. So tomorrow is it tomorrow? No, Thursday it's parents against kids or you know dads against kids to play basketball. Yep. So we need to make sure we get some video of that. Mm -hmm. I wish they would have did moms against kids because that would have been funny. Well, anybody can play. Oh, I know, but I don't want to show them up after I did that awesome shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kiki. Uh, she wasn't the basketball player. No, I was, like I said, I was the runner. She ain't a runner anymore. I'm not a runner anymore, but I can walk it out and work it out. <laughs> I can. Uh, Still be proud of me. I am proud of you. Thanks, babe. Very proud. Uh, let's see what else we got to talk about here. I don't know, man. I'm ready I know it's weird. It's weird when people like do podcasts with us and they just talk about random stuff like what's something random we can talk about like i mean there's no problems there's you know there's is there weird stuff people do <laughs> like what i don't know i just i don't know i mean like we always just do everything on the fly because that's what a podcast is for with a fly you shouldn't have to have a plan and what questions to ask you know no you should well you should yeah. Okay, well, Kiki just doesn't like to use her brain. Well, the so week, that doesn't that doesn't help. The week just flies by, you know. It doesn't matter. But hey, we're having a good time. Though we're doing great, you know. Um, so we did have our lunch today. For uh, we talked about this a little bit before. We're doing the uh, newlywed game for the Barry Alliance. So the day this drops. I'm going to drop the video of our thing, share all the information. i got to get that out there. We're going to be uh, – so any money raised will go towards a great charity for at-risk kids in our area. Uh, but it will also go towards helping me and Kiki win this uh, newlywed game. Like So there's there will be like – you're going to play a game, and if we do well, we'll move to the next rounds, and then like part of the – Part of your points come from the money raised, obviously, because you're trying to raise money for the charity. So I'm excited about that because they're going to ask uh, all kind of questions. So we had we had lunch today with Jonathan and Amanda from the Alliance, and uh, they asked us a bunch of questions. And then it's going to be like a like a 70s style game show. So we got to start looking for outfits. I need to wear something 70s, which I think in the 70s wasn't like 
peace signs and bell bottoms. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yep. So we got that coming up, which is a. Uh, Ooh, maybe I can wear my um, my 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 headpiece halo for long hair because didn't they in the seventies they had long hair? Mm-hmm. I can wear that. I know it's like a. I know like. Um, this doesn't make me nervous, but like being out in a large crowd, like answering questions, they're they're not going to be like stuff you can't answer. They're going to be like easy questions, but I'm sure as hell probably going to be sweating, you know. Yeah, you're gonna be nervous. I am gonna be nervous because, but we might not be able to see the people because the lights might be so bright, you know. But still, though, and I have to remember to talk loud, not you know, like answer the answer it in its mic. Yeah, so it'd be like the old school. They're gonna they're like I'll be in the back. They'll ask her four questions, then I'll come out and they'll ask me the same four questions. Then she'll have like you know same. We did this on the show a while back. We did a new way game kind of like that. So should be fun because we like I said it is be in front of a crowd. It's and be and at we a theater. love and we love to compete, you know. So we got to win this. Yeah, I don't want to lose. There's eight couples, so we got to win, you know. Yeah, funny thing is, one of our one of the other couples in the in the deal is our neighbors, and they're newly they're like freshly new. I think a year. I, I have no idea. Yeah, I think yeah, I think they haven't even been married two years. So it's going to be funny to see those newlywed couples might be getting knocked out quick. I hope so. Well, we got the the top newlywed and the top. Oldly wed will compete against each other, though. Yeah, that'll be funny. We can't be letting them newlyweds win over the oldest. Whatever. Yeah, you know? we gotta, we gotta, you gotta answer the questions right. I know, but so far, like today at lunch when they were asking questions, we were. Well, that was just about that was just, just basics. Yeah, but we knew that I wasn't mean, that wasn't stuff they're gonna I ask. Know, yeah. I think it's just to get to know us Tickets, more. Yeah, cause so they can know what kind of questions they should ask mm-hmm. the people. Yeah. So I'm curious to see how that's going to work. But like I said, we'll be fun. We're missing the Creed concert for that. I need to let Jacob know. He's going to be pissed. I haven't told him yet. I know. But it is what it is. I would like the, what do you call it? Like, to get us out there. To know who we are. I don't know. (laughs) Well, it's just good for the community. Yeah, good publicity. For, yeah, it's public, and we like doing stuff for the community. So this is a great way to to be a part of the community because, like you said, you were a part of Dance with the Stars. You were the judge. So we're just continuing the tradition, you know. Which yeah. Creed can always come back around again, you know. Maybe not. What Creed can always come back around. Yeah, I mean, we'll figure that out. Yeah, we'll, yeah, it's no big deal. We just know our friends will be upset, but it is what it is, you know. Yeah. What was your biggest fear as a kid? My biggest fear as a kid? I have no idea. I mean, what were you scared of? Um, Probably some type of animals. I don't know. Snake, roaches, spiders. I was scared of, and it's fitting because the movie's out, I was scared of, like, bad weather. Oh, really? And I grew up in a trailer, so if, if you're much familiar with a trailer, I mean, like, in a bad storm, I mean those things shaking and rocking. And then we lived out in the woods, not but like hundred foot pine trees everywhere. I was like, I was always scared I'm gonna die in my sleep from a pine tree or a tree. Oh, for falling, yeah, falling on our house. I was, and so that was my biggest fear besides snakes, which I hate. But I was always scared of a uh, thunderstorms and like. So I want to see the new Twister movie, but like I said, I, I'm you know this. I know with it growing up out. Out there in a trailer, it was kind of nerve wracking. That's how remember Kenzie. That's how Kenzie was when she was like little. We had to tell her like, we're in a house. This is a safe place. It's it's just rain. Well, well nowadays the kids are confused because of the weather situation. It can be raining, flooding, and they don't know if we're having school or not having school. That's where confusion is. Where they get so confused. We're like, weather's coming. They're like, how like. How, you know what I'm saying? Like, because we'll clo- they'll close school for no reason just because it's, you know, and it gets the kids confused. You know what I'm saying? How's that confusing? Because sometimes it's just raining and flooding and there's no school. So then we're not in school. It's raining and flooding. They're asking questions, you know, about the weather. But it's not bad. I don't know. Yeah. You don't know? I don't never. Be, I never thought I'm being confused. Yeah, because sometimes it confuses. Like when, when you say weather's coming, you know, they're like what weather coming? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I forgot to say that. Uh, 
Yeah, I was curious if you had a if you had a major fear. I mean, my major fear. I don't know. It's a whole nother like just leaving this earth. That's my fear. But you're going to live in a greater place. So you're scared of death. Yes. No, I've yeah, I've kind of freaked out by the two. I mean, I know it's part of life, but it is kind of crazy. Yeah. It's it's more crazy whenever you have kids to think about. Like you don't want to think about that, but it's one of those things. It's like, uh, yeah. you can't escape it. I know because it's, it's going to happen to everybody. I also just I don't, that that's my fear. Yeah, no, I, I feel you on that. <laughs> yeah, it freaks me out, man. And it's just how, it's where some go before the others. Like why, you know? It's just. Yeah, that's uh, like I say, like I say, like I say, it's God's plan, man. But that's just it's crazy to think about. Uh, you know, you have young kids die, or people like you know, it's just it's crazy. Uh, that's not something I like to think about or talk about either. Cause Me it's, either. It's just a. Uh, uh, I I think that's probably always been one of my biggest fears. Probably since I've gotten older. Since I was younger, it was probably like you know, animals and creatures and things. But as I've gotten older, it's like you know leaving the earth yeah yeah I know man it's freaky it's freaky like I said it's just for a freaky when you have kids it's definitely something something you don't think about like something you don't want to think about because you're living in the moment you think about just seeing your kids grow up think about seeing grandkids and things like that uh, so that's the scary part to mm-hmm. think about uh and like I said, we got our parents are getting older. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, they're all in good shape, but it's still one of those things mm-hmm. where it's anything could happen. So it's just kind of. I have a question I can ask, but it's for people out there. But um, like, you know, with holidays and Christmas coming up, it's like, what do you get your kids that basically have everything? You know, like a phone, a tablet, you know, they're getting to the age right now where. It's like, what do you do? Do you take trips? Well, Kenzie wants one thing for her birthday. She keeps back. She wants Snapchat so bad. And, I'm, and I'm, like, I'm, I'm, I'm against that. I'm like, keep writing essays, keep telling us, keep preaching it to yeah. us. It ain't happening. Snapchat is so bad. There's so much bullying, killing. Just like, I don't understand why they have that app because I don't, I don't understand it because there's. Why have it if stuff disappears and it's only whatever? Like, I don't get Snapchat. You no. Know? The only time I ever play with it is for like the, for funny, the, funny, the, yeah. The filters, but like that's one of the apps I don't ever think about. But so yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I've never, I've maybe sent a handful of pictures over the. Yeah, I know, but Kenzie cracks us up though. She'll do a whole slideshow of why we why she needs a Snapchat, or she'll write an essay, and they are cute little essays like. Oh, I'm responsible. I'm da 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 da, and I'm like thinking you're. She'll still- say that right after she lost a retainer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, you're not responsible. The, yeah, it's and they don't. Understand, she don't understand yet. You know, it's just crazy how how we let her have a TikTok, but a TikTok's you know the TikTok the tick TikTok is monitored, so you know, and it's she can't, she's not allowed to. to I mean, like I said, and I don't want to keep them from anything, but social media, it can be a bad experience because there's a lot of negativity on there. Yeah, exactly. And just think about a couple episodes when we talked about how much, how so much time we were on our phones. Remember when we looked at screen time? It was so crazy. So it was funny being on vacation. You just, you're not on it as much. It was crazy how I looked on mine. It was like, nah, because. Before vacation, it was all high, and that was, like, so low because you weren't on it. I was listening to music, soaking up the sun, you know? Yeah, I know. It's a... Uh, it's crazy. Phones like are this, addicting, man. Yeah, they I, are because it's it. like, you know... Well, I'm, I'm tied to mine because of work, but it... But it you really, you're not really that interrupted at night, but my thing is, it's like, all right, we're going to get to bed early. Then then you look up, it's like two hours later, and you're still on your damn phone, Dude, you I've, know? Been, I've been playing this damn solitary game on my phone. I oh can't. My God. I'm so addicted. We're like, turn the TV. I'll just go to bed. I'll roll over. And my thing is, is that I'm okay if you turn the TV off and go to bed, but I can't go to bed because that light's so bright because you got to learn to dim your phone light. I do. I still see it. I'm a sucker for being pitch black. I can see everything. I can even see that little dot on my TV. Got to cover that up. Yeah, she's a freak about that. I know. It's funny, though. I never thought about putting a 
thing over my eyes, you know, memory. I told you, I was like, you should do that. I know I'd try that. I just don't know if I'd feel comfortable with that. I mean, that'd be the best way to block out everything. I know. I need to try that. Maybe you need to give me one for my next present. I mean, they're like five bucks on Amazon. No, but I need a good one. Well, eight bucks <laughs> for the good one. All right, I'm going to look at one. I'm telling you, you can get you a nice one. I just don't know if I'll rip it off or anything at night, you know? Yeah. As everybody talks about those silky pillows, like it's supposed to be good for your face, less wrinkles. So I've been using one, but I feel like it just... It's not That's the all. same as a cotton pillowcase, you know. I feel like, like even when I go to put my moisturizer, moisturizer on at night, and like it soaks up and absorbs. But when I go to put my face on a silky pillow, it just feels sticky. That from the you know being on the pillowcase. Yeah, I want to ask one thing too. Is like how many people read books? Kiki's got her first book in years to read oh my god this a movie. Is a, yeah it's hilarious i probably haven't read a book in probably like 20 years well no i take that back because i was in small group ladies women's group and so i read there so but as far as down like reading a book that's something that that everybody's reading I, this is so funny so that new blake lively movie's coming out with what is it called ends with us i have no idea um shoot what's the name of it this is a, no not in it ends with us, something like that. But the previews look amazing. So here I was talking to each of my friends, and they're like, oh, my God, have you read the book? I'm like, do you know me to read the book? Heck no. I'll, I'll, I'll choose Netflix. They were reading a book. And so they're like, no, you have to read this book. It's only 384 pages. And we're talk- it comes out like August 9th. And so they're like, all right, I, have, I believe in you. We'll let you borrow the book. And I've talked to five of my friends, and they've all read it. I was like, what is wrong with me? I said, I thought reading was nerdy. And they're like, no, it's cool now. I was like, it must be an age thing. Because <laughs> they all, they're, they're like, she's an amazing author, Colleen Hoover or whatever. But it's funny, though. So they gave him this book. Yet My friend gave it to me yesterday. And my other friend asked me today, so have you started the book? I was like, no, I had to finish cleaning from unpacking and stuff from vacation. So maybe I'll start it this week. But my thing is maybe I just need to learn to take the time before I get into bed. to Just read a few pages to calm down, you know, before or before after we do our thing or whatever. Because I can't just be like, let me read first, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but I need, I'll give it a try. They're like, you can, they're like, you can do it in two weeks i'm like read 384 pages they're like once not a lot but knowing me like i have I, if you have a good book like i like to, I, I, I haven't read in a while but i used to read a lot but, but my thing is it's like a good grow, book, you'll want to read it growing up though i hated reading i couldn't comprehend but my thing is i told them i said i'm probably gonna be walking around the house like acting like i'm teaching a class reading it out loud this you know that's you need to just do like audible i know i need to try that because listen to it you could listen to it and you might retain. But, but what more. would I do? What would I do? Listen. What would I be doing while I listen to it? Like in your car, or, or you can play it in the headphones and sit on the couch. Yeah, and just lay back and just close my eyes and just listen to it. Yeah, I mean, they say um, what do they say makes your brain <laughs> brain better. Not you know just. You're reading, learning, not learning. Reading makes know. your brain better. Yes, reading makes your brain better. Was, that's the joke. We're making Something t-shirts. like that. Yeah, I can't remember. But it's just so funny that I was telling each of my friends, not in this, just in a different text, just talking. They're like, oh, I read the book. Again. But I'm like, you know me. I don't read. And they're like, you need to read. So they gave me the book. It was so funny. My friend gave it to me. I said, it looks brand new. She was like, yeah, because I read it in three days. <laughs> yeah, I don't. My mommy's be like that. Remember, she would read. She would use a Danielle Steele. She'd read books and like no Nicholas, Nicholas Sparks. Sparks. I thought it was Danielle Steele too. She'd I read a full read. book in like two days. Yeah, I just I, I mean, I wish I can do that. But like you said, I need to find something that I really like. Like I like that one time I bought the Jessica Simpson book. I think I started reading it on an airplane and never finished it. It was a biography of her life and stuff. Yeah, which that was interesting reading on the plane, but. I would have to. Um, yeah, your calamari and cheese is like her. Sea of the tuna. Chicken, yeah. Chicken, chicken of the sea. Was it chicken of the sea? Yeah. Yeah, it was yeah, funny. I've seen people online compare you to her. Nothing like her. I mean, y'all, not far off. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, well, good. I don't have anything else you want to talk about? Nothing that comes to mind, but I like the flow so far. <laughs> What? No. I mean, we're talking about random stuff. It's coming to mind, you know? Yep. You got to use your brain. Yeah. You got to think. 
what what bugs you about people? Is there certain things that bug you? Only thing that bugs me about people is they don't answer their phone. When you know they have their phone on them. No, yeah, yes. because everybody at these days has your, their phone attached your phone to them. Is, is with you at all times. Right, I get it. You can't it. say you don't. And to not answer a text or answer a phone call, like that bugs me to know, especially like people that work with me, uh, because like our livelihood is our phone. That. That drives me crazy. I know how I'm gonna call April out. Your friend April. April. <laughs> April. I tell her you just throw that. You just need to throw the phone away. You know, <laughs> she never answered it. She's worse. She'll she'll text. You know, at least she at least acknowledge a text saying, "Hey, I'll call yeah. you back." Whatever. But every time, I'm like, I don't know why I'm calling you. Oh my gosh. Uh, but You're like, her said, boss. But but like the, the the acknowledgement is more like I, if you don't answer it, that's fine. But acknowledge it that you've seen it. Uh, but yeah, you text somebody and you for a few days. Oh man, or just don't answer you. Or those like I have this. I have this one me. friend. Like she, she. I don't think she knows how to take it off. Do not disturb or whatever. And she has it till till nine a.m. So I can't get in touch with her or anything till nine a.m. I'm like, well, you know, good as hell, you're up at. If you call back to back, it'll ring. Oh really? I'm like this is ridiculous. So like sometimes I have to call and say something. And I can't. It's not freaking nine o'clock yet. I'm like this is freaking ridiculous. I was like so I've like so on mine. I did mine from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. because a lot of times we have a lot of friends that just send you, memes this and is like getting TikToks at freaking yeah, midnight. And I can't be hearing that all night. So I've learned to put that on. So I was like nobody's. I don't need to hear all that from 10 to 7. So at 7 a.m. is a reasonable time to have your phone alert and going off. But it's just funny that there's some. No, I think if you put on do not serve and somebody calls you back to back, it'll ring. But it's just some some people are good with phones and some people aren't. You know, some people don't want to have their phone. You know, some people want to have a phone and you know. Yeah, I guess I've never. I've always had the. I've always been in the business where my phone was like you're attached to it. You got to answer the phone. I'm dealing with customers and like it's one of those things. I'm in a business that you have to be readily available. Uh, That's where. Yeah. So. You know, even on vacation, I was I worked every day. I mean, I had stuff calls coming in every morning. I had stuff going on, and I ain't gonna tell my customers like, "Hey, I'm on vacation." It's one of those things like they're gonna call you. They need something, so you just gotta handle it. I mean, it's part of it. Oh, that's like um, Kenzie right now. I don't know if it's like a teenage thing, but you call her and she don't answer, and she texts back and says, "I'm in the car. I'm in the car with Ava and the parents, or something like that." You know, I'm like, "I'm your parent. Answer no matter what." You know, yeah. or these kids these days putting the phone on silent. You're not important. I want to hear that thing ring, you know, or if we text you answer back. Don't just read. We see that you read it. So, uh, respond back, you know, but the the phone call things it cracks me up when you call and she's like, I can't answer. I'm in the car. I'm in the drive through. I'm like, but I'm your parent answer no matter what. Yeah, no, you know? I'd like to show that me too. I just I'll get on to her for that. Yeah. Yep. So. I'm guessing I'll take Kenzie to the gallery for her birthday again. I oh, know I have a hair appointment. Just so worked out that I had a hair appointment. I think you said last time. Yeah. I have to keep it scheduled. I, ha- I mean, like I hate how it landed again on her birthday, but at least we're going to be celebrating with family and stuff, you know, for her birthday. Yeah. Take her out to her favorite places she wants to go go shopping because she loves to spend money. To spend money, she'll get that babysit money and turn around and spend it like that. It's crazy. Yeah, no doubt. And just nowadays they want. All the makeup, all the Lulu, all the free people, you know, just all the stylish stuff, you oh, know. No. It's no, crazy. It Shit's so expensive. I know it is. It's crazy. Everything's so expensive. So. Yes. Everything's gone up. But yeah, that's all I got, Kiki. That's all you got? Yeah, unless you have anything. I mean, I don't, you have any other random questions? Not no? that I can think of offhand. I did good this time with some random questions. You did. I did. Good job. Thank you. Hell of a job, Kiki. That was episode twenty-seven. Hope you be at, hope you be back next week with uh, another couple in here. I got a few people I need to line up. I need to get that done. I'm gonna work on that this week to where we have some people lined up uh, to where we can have some more couples in or do some remote with couples. Yeah, that'll be fun. Can't wait. Yep. All right, we're out. All right, peace.